I don't know if there are any comments. I'll just quickly go through the key actions and I will pause if you have any other comments or questions. The first action was don't turn away from the ayah signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is implement the guidance and change your life. So, and we, 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 we discussed that there is hardly any difference between a person who completely designs, uh, denies the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, denies the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a person who says, yes, yes, I believe, but takes no action. So he continues to do the wrong things. He continues to do the haram things. He continues to watch whatever shameful content and everything. Continues to have bad company. So that person and that person who's, who's completely denying, they're almost the same because nobody's taking action. So the important thing is once you have received knowledge, you have to take action. And from an Islamic perspective, from religious perspective, that means we should become better Muslims every day. By gaining more knowledge from Quran and Hadi of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And once we gain that knowledge, we implement it in our lives. This is very, very important. One thing you learn about, you learn about riba, leave it for life. You learn about zina, leave it for life. You learn about any other thing, alcohol, whatever. You have to take immediate action. It cannot be that, yes, let me just uh, make a house. And for that, I will only have mortgage for 10 years. And I will continue to give interest on it. Or I will just need this lovely car. And I don't have enough money, so I need to pay the installments for 10 years and 5 years and this and that. Don't get into this trap. You can die tomorrow. So you don't know even if you have 5 years, 10 years. Don't say that I will start praying when, you know, or I'll do make hajj. I, I have the money, extra money, but I will make hajj, you know, once I am. No, no, no. Don't, uh, don't give future deadlines that you're not uh, really confident of. And we should not be confident of because we don't know if we will even live for the next moment or not. So take action immediately. The, the It's better for us that we take action immediately because we don't know uh, when our time will come, right? Moving forward. Number two action for today, to be patient, what we have to do is we have to relax and believe everything is in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's control and he loves us more than anything in this world. He won't let anything happen to us that is not beneficial for us, even if it is a disease, even if it is a neg negative situation, even if whatever comes our way, Sometimes it can be against what we are thinking or against what we want to happen. But have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He loves us most and he has control over everything, right? We become impatient when something is not in our control and when we don't have the knowledge related to past, present and future. And we become a lot of anxious. What will happen and what will happen next and this and that. And, you know, so, um, yes, you should try your best. Again, you should strive for knowledge, but you should not become impatient uh, when you don't have everything. And the final thing, uh, that once we went through the story of Musa alayhi salam uh, and all the parts of it uh, with, the, with the, the, the more learned servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whom, as I said, some of the scholars say was Khidr alayhi salam. Alam. So the core of that for us was we have to be content and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all situations. We don't know what is best for us because we don't have absolute knowledge. We don't have the complete knowledge. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows wisdom behind everything. These days, you know, especially for young people, you want to get married to someone and now you're really trying hard and then eventually it doesn't happen. That person got married to someone. Now you're thinking of killing yourself because your life isn't. Come on. I mean, if it was meant to be, it would have happened. Right. And obviously you should start with the right way, approach it the right way, the way how our religion um, uh, uh, guides us in terms of getting married. So... Uh, ne th th never think that now it's the end of the world. No, regardless of what loss you incur, regardless of which person goes away from your life. Because what we need to realize is every person, everything in this life, everything that you gain, it can be a material thing like wealth, it can be power, it can be house, car, whatever. Everything can come and go. Similarly for people, everyone can come and go in your life. You start your life with your parents and then they go grow old and then some of them pass away and then you start your own family and you have your own kids and then they have their friends and all of this and you have a best friend in school and then they in university you have different friends when you go to work you hardly retain two or three of them the point is in this entire world in this entire life our context of life in terms of the material things and in terms of the people in our lives continues to change the only thing that we need to know the only constant in our lives is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has been there forever and will stay here for, who will stay as well forever. So if you establish your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you don't need anything else. And I'm not saying that leave all your friends and leave all your family and say now I'm having the connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'll go in a jungle. I'm not saying that. We have been guided 
and we know the sunnah of the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam how he was connected to his family how he was connected to children how he was connected how he would respect the elders how he would uh, stay connected with his companions so all of this has been taught by the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to all of us however the strong connection the the strongest connection and the constant connection should be with allah subhanahu wa taala once you have this connection in this life you will be ready to die even because you know you will be prepared to die and once you die you would have that connection and that will continue and you know will be the source of mercy of allah subhanahu wa taala inshallah for all of us so this is uh, the core message uh, that allah subhanahu wa taala has the wisdom behind and he knows the wisdom behind everything be content with his will and his wisdom and continue to pray to him for ease continue to pray to him for afia in this world and in the in the life hereafter so i hope this point is clear are there any comments anything before we close today's class no sir thank you all right excellent so we close our today's class with this prayer subhanallahi wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik purity belongs to allah and all praise be to him purity belongs to you o allah and all praise be to you i bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides you i beg forgiveness from you and i repent before you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my dear brothers inshallah i will see you next week same time